guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do my Gymshark collection video today and I was going to change and put some on, but I have a very limited time space to film this video and I literally just ran out and I put normal clothes on for once to go to the grocery store and drop off some packages and because I don't wear normal clothes often, we're staying in them. But I want to go through every piece I have from Gymshark because I'm very limited on time because I have a lot of projects going on right now. I'm not doing a try on, but I will in this corner as I go through things. If I can find it on the Gymshark website, I will just pop up a screenshot of the website so you can see like coloring, pricing, all that good stuff. Um, and I'll explain kind of what sizes I wear and everything, but I have a very small period of time here. So let's just jump right into this video and y'all can see what I've collected over the past little while. Okay, I'm going to start by going through like all my pants and shorts. Um, this is going to be in no order, so it could go from really old to new to new to old or whatever. Um, but if, again, like I said, if I can, I'm sitting on the back of my shirt. If I can find it on the website, I will put it up here. If not, then obviously they don't have it, so I can't link it. But I'll start with these ones. Um, I actually don't, don't even know what these ones are called. I don't remember when I bought them, but I remember I bought them in, like, maybe winter time. But they were this, like, cool, like, pattern, like that. Went all the way down the legs, same with the butt. They were really comfy. Um, the only thing that I thought was like weird was like the crotch pad like went like midway down your thigh so like you could see it and if you scrunched your leggings up you could like see the crotch seam area like all bunched up. So that was the only thing that was kind of weird but I really like them. They're really comfy. They're very stretchy so like I think... I actually don't have the tag because I cut off the little tags when they were itching my skin. So it, I think these are small. Very comfy. Love them. Um, okay, so the other... These are ones I kind of I need to touch base on because I have them. I have hopes that I'm going to fix them. But I have zero luck. My whole like beginning of buying Gymshark, I had no luck whatsoever when it came to surviving with the products. Or the products surviving. Um, because I always blew the butt out. And then I would sit there and I'd look at KK Fit and I'd be like, how do you fit in an extra small and my butt blows the seam? So, these ones um, are the Vital Seamless. So, I have the blue and then I have the gray. So, the only thing is, um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. So, there's like barely any kind of seam. They're supposed to be seamless. But the entire butt part is like ripped apart. Like there's a massive hole right here going all the way down. Um, but it's like a very sheer hole. So like that. Um, so yeah, can't wear those really right now. I'm hoping that like I'll just go buy some gray thread or use my sewing machine and just make an extra seam on the butt so it has like a legitimate seam. That way maybe I can wear them again because I love the fit of them. They're super comfy. And then same with these ones. I was actually doing a sumo squat in a video one day and I was like, huh, there's a hole right in the middle of my butt. It did the exact same thing on this seam. So I'm not too sure if it's just like the pants that are doing that or if it's like me doing it, but I'm going to hopefully just buy the exact same thread color for these and do the same thing I want to do with the gray ones. Just add a seam. I've done it to my friend's leggings and his work, so maybe that'll work, but I love the pants, so I don't want to get rid of them. Okay. And then these two are old, so I had another pair of these, I sold them, they were like the dark grey with the darker blue on them, but I like these ones more, so I kept these ones. Um, these are the original flex uh, seamless leggings or whatever they're called. These ones, I'm not, I don't reach for them that much because I bought them all in an extra small and the originals are a lot more low rise and they cut into my like sides, so like I'm not fat in any way, but the way these sit on me makes me look like I have a like belly roll because they like cut in. Um, but if I wear a shirt with them, so like these are really good for leg days because they make your butt look amazing. So I'll just wear like an oversized t-shirt if I wear them. But haven't really like reached for them that, that much because I used to wear them a lot. So because I bought new things, I just wear that a little bit more. But these were ones I wanted to keep because I actually really like the color of them. And they look so nice and they're very comfy. But it was the darker gray one with the darker blue that I got rid of. Um, just because I literally never wore them. So kept these ones. And then these were like my OG. So these are like, these are worn out. Like I don't know if you can see that. But, like, <laughs> I wore these like there was no tomorrow. Like, I was PRing every day of hip thrust with these on. Not gonna lie. But those went through, like, my entire bulk. So these are a little bit looser on me now because I actually, like, 
stretched them because I wore them so much. I was a lot big. I wasn't a lot bigger, but my legs and butt were a lot bigger back then. And it was more like my bulk time. So they're a little stretched out. So they don't fit as nice now. But again, they're like the OGs and I love them. So I'm not going to get rid of them. But they have definitely been worn. <laughs> um, and both of these are an extra small too. And I don't know if I said that the other ones were as small, the Vital Seamless, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go over these ones and then I'll kind of explain like the newest things I've bought. Actually, no, I have two things and then I'll explain the newer ones. But these, I don't really know what these are called. But they're very like silky. They remind me more of like a Lululemon fabric. They have pockets and then they got that back piece. Um, they're super cute. They have like a huge mess, mesh section at the bottom. Which, if you all know, I have my lower leg tattooed, and I love it because you can literally see it all the way through the legging. They're very thin, but very soft, squat proof. I don't know if they're squat proof because I really don't sweat like that much, so I couldn't tell you, but they're very comfortable. And I think these are small because after my first few orders with Gymshark stuff, I ended up buying smalls on a lot of it because I kept blowing the butt seams open, and I was like, I can't blow my ass when I'm at the gym. So I was buying smalls. These ones I definitely could have used an extra small in. Um, but they're still really comfy, really soft, and I love the fit of them. Okay, and then the final thing that I have that from like a while ago is that these used to look a lot nicer, but they have been through the wash so many times. Um, so they're a little like, you know, like sweatpants, like black sweatpants, definitely. Um, they always get like worn out looking when they go through the wash a lot. That's what these ones are. But these are just whoop, like a basic pair of shorts with like the little symbol on the butt. Um, these are an extra small. I wear extra smalls in any kind of shorts like this because I've tried smalls and they're like, they just fall off of me. So these are an extra small. I love these. These are like thick. They're comfy and they're just a good staple. Like they're black. So can't go wrong with that. Love them. Um, I knew I had one more older pair, but I couldn't find it for a sec. But so I know I said I only had two, but I've actually had these joggers and they got like the little V on the back down the leg and the leg has like the little split thing. Um, I've never worn these. So these are an extra small. I just found that my thighs like, cause I bought these when I was, again, like I said, like I was in a bulk kind of stage. So a lot of the things I bought either are stretched out or they didn't fit me when I bought them. So these actually did not go over my thighs when I bought them. They fit me now. So that's why I kept them. Um, and they're like still brand new, so I wasn't going to get rid of them because they actually fit and looked nice now. But when I bought them, they didn't fit me, but I was so determined that I was going to like thin out and like go into a cut, which I did, thankfully. <laughs> um, so they fit me now, but yeah, these are an extra small and I don't know what kind of joggers they are. I don't know if they'd still be on the site, but I can look and I'll see. But yeah, I bought them a long time ago and I still have yet to wear them. So I'm going to wear these soon. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go through like my newest pants or bottom sections um, and then I'll go into like tops, bras and sweaters and stuff like that. But the newest things I bought are like my favorite. So that's why I like the things I already talked about, like I don't reach for as much anymore because I'm obsessed with these. But I also, I want to go through quickly. Um, this isn't like all I've had from Gymshark. I've actually went through like five pairs of camo seamless with the butt scrunch. Um, blew the button, every single one of them they've replaced. They've replaced both of them um, once, I think, and I ended up buying like a second or a third pair of one of them, and then again, they just ripped apart. I've had, um, I don't know, they were like an original seamless style. Uh, they had like blue and red. I had both of those. Um, the blue ones completely like unrolled the whole like seamless seam. Um, and it made like this weird rolled up situation. I didn't know how to fix it. The red ones just, didn't fit me properly. They were very like snug and I wanted them to be a little bit bigger and they were an extra small. So I got rid of those. I've had like multiple pairs of the flex shorts, but I ended up buying them all in extra smalls and they cut into my legs so much. So I had to, I got rid of those. I sold them and then I bought another pair of shorts in a small and I'll show you those. But I have actually went through a lot of Gymshark. I've worn it, sold it. I've had to return stuff. I blew the button multiple pairs of leggings. <laughs> um, but I've had some ups and downs when it comes to their stuff, but I love their stuff. So I keep buying it, but um, these are the most recent things I've bought, and I should just have my credit card taken away from me because it's a literal issue, um, but these are the Flex Seamless whatever biker shorts. Um, I can honestly thank KK Fit for every single thing I own because you guys are my problem. I watch all your stories, and then I buy it all, but these are so comfy. These are a size small, so 
all my other flex short leggings I had to sell because they were an extra small. So I bought these ones. They're not see-through. They're squat proof actually. They have a way thicker waistband I find and they're higher like waisted which I love. So the two original flex seamless leggings I have aren't as high waisted. So like I keep them because I wear them with shirts but these ones love wear my sports bras all the time and I usually yank my biker shorts up kind of the same way KK Fit does like into like booty shorts because I like the fabric bunch up better and my butt doesn't pop out in the biker shorts thanks please so that was one of my favorite purchases so far and then I also bought um these shorts I don't know what ones these are called but they're pretty new so I will probably be able to find them but I just wore these so I go back in the laundry um but those are so comfy so cute I like them because they don't like cut into the backs of my legs or cut into my thighs they're again like a biker short-ish kind of length and I yanked them up pretty high but they're super high-waisted they suck everything in your stomach they make you feel like tight and just really flattering so I love those and then the final two things I got were leggings so I made a mistake with the, these ones these are really cool. So the reason I bought those black shorts is because I liked both of these patterns, but I liked this one more and I wanted them in pants and I liked that one too, but I just got it in shorts instead so I didn't have two shorts, two pants because I don't really wear that much stuff. But um, these were those like crazy pattern and I kept seeing KK fit in them so I had to buy them. But I bought them in an extra small because they always say like, oh I wear an extra small or one of them wears an extra small, one wears a small. I felt so stuffed in these. I literally felt like a sausage. But I could get them on. I love wearing them. They're really comfy once I got them on. It was just like I felt so tight like trying to put them on. But love them. Love the pattern. Love the butt. Love the fit. Just everything. They're so cute. So nice. And I love neutrals. Right? Like I don't wear a lot of bright colors. And if I do it's in like a sports bra. So I bought a lot of neutral pants. Um, and the final thing I bought because I liked the original flex leggings so much. I actually had a pair. I had the light pink or the light gray with the like baby pink writing on it. Um, I bought them in an extra small. Once again, there was a massive hole right in the butt crack. So I ended up getting rid of them and they were way too tight. Like I could barely get them on. So I bought these ones. These were on sale when I got them. So I really wanted to try them out um, again, but I wasn't 100% sure. So when they were on sale, I was like, I'm going to try them. Uh, these are size small, super cute. They're a little bit big, so I'm not winning much with the sizing because I either get way too small or like a little bit too big. But I'll take the too big over too small because I can roll the waistband down. Uh, but those are super cute. I love them and... That's kind of like my overall pants I just bought recently, which are so cute, and I'm obsessed, but love my OGs still. Um, I bought, like, the amount, I wish I could show you, like, everything I've had in my lifetime of them, because I just have so many leggings, um, but, like, if you want my staples now, the new pile is, like, where it's at. Um, but I'm gonna just collect all my shirts quick, and then I will show y'all what I have for that. Okay, so I don't, I'm pretty sure I have not gotten rid of any shirts that I've bought, but like if you know me, you know I like always wear leggings or shorts and then a sports bra, and I'll either wear like an old cropped hoodie or just like an oversized hoodie and just take it off when I get to the gym. Um, I'm not a big shirt person, so I have very minimal when it comes to shirts just in general for like day to day and for the gym, but I always try to keep a couple. Um, so I have this one. This is the one that comes with like that ribbon band that you tie around. I did not like the way it looked on me So I just took it off and I honestly just when I wear it I take the front I twist it and tuck it into my sports bra So it's a little bit more cropped and like snug, but it's got like thumb holes and stuff super cute It's just a good staple and it's like a cottony kind of fabric. It's not like spandex or anything, which is nice um, And then I bought this one and I actually had no idea <laughs> that this was what it was. Um, I've seen it and I thought it was just like a really over, like long scoop in the front and the back, but it, oops, I just hit the camera. So it's this little nude gym shark. It goes down really long in the front. So if you have camel toe, perfect. And if you like your butt being showed off, perfect. I didn't know that this was what the back looked like. Um, it ended up being a lot, like a really cute surprise, but I definitely thought it was going to be like a full back and front. Um, all the sh like tops I bought are in a small. I'm not going to say that over and over again, but these are all smalls. Um, that nude one is so soft. So if you want to go, if they have it on the site, please go buy it because it is so soft. Um, and then I bought this. This is the long sleeve Vital Seamless, like one of the original colors I think that they made. Um, it's 100% inside out right now because I was trying to find the Gymshark tag and it's actually like inside right now. Um, but that was just my bad when I did laundry and hung it up. 
Um, but yeah, super cute, so soft. It's really stretchy. Um, and I like the color of it because I had like all the bright leggings, like the blue, the gray, I had red, I had all the bright things I could find because I originally when I bought stuff from them I was buying all the colors and now I know not to do that and buy neutrals because I don't reach for them as much. Um, but I love that top because I can wear it with all my dark pants. But it's really like lightweight. Um, it does get like sweaty, but like obviously if you're working hard, you gonna sweat and it's not if you don't care you don't care so I like it I'll wear it for like lower body days usually I like to have like my upper body free on upper body days but lower body it's great cardio it's great it's really lightweight it's stretchy so you don't feel like you know like when you're wearing a shirt and you're sweaty you feel like claustrophobic in it, it doesn't do that to you so it's perfect um and then I haven't actually worn this one but I had hopes so this is just like the flex um long sleeve crop top but the only thing I found was like the same thing as the original leggings is like the thing cuts into my waist, like the waistband. And I felt like it was doing the same to this and it was giving me like muffin top vibes. Not cute. But I'm... The, I, the only reason I hold on to it is because if I'm in prep, I know I'm going to be cold because you once you start losing body fat, like especially when you get really thin, you're going to be cold, you're not going to have as much body heat, and also I'll be tinier. So I have hopes that when I go into a prep one day, that this will fit me and I'll be able to wear it. It'll be yum like yummy. Wow. I'm hungry right now, so my head's on food. But it'll be comfy for like cardio and just like training in general. So I keep that. I love the color of it. That's also another reason I have a hard time getting rid of it. Um, but maybe one day I'll be able to wear it. And then I have this. This is the, I think this is Vital Seamless the tank so it's like a long tank um, I'll usually just either like tie it in a knot or like tuck it under my sports bra like I do for most things but it's just super cute I like that it's like a little more high waisted because like sometimes if I'm wearing a sports bra that's like a little bit lower I feel like everything's gonna fall out so I love this it's really stretchy really comfy I don't feel like suffocated in it and I just love the color like it's so bright so love that one I'm not gonna get rid of it probably ever because it's gonna be like a staple for a long time especially since it's a long tank top so I can wear it whenever um but yeah so that's all my like main shirts and then I have one sweater too and this is like one of my favorite sweaters. Um, I don't know if you Okay, I just zipped it up. So it's got the Gymshark symbol. Looks like that. And then it's got the Gymshark on the back. But it's like a really thick material. Um, is this going to focus? Okay. It's got a really thick material. It's super warm, super soft. I love the length of it because it's like a low key crop but not like super cropped. Love the back piece, it's super cute, and it's an extra small. This one I did buy in an extra small. Um, I don't buy a lot of sweaters because if you heard me before, I do wear a lot of like oversized old school sweaters or like go to the thrift store and just like find old school crew necks and then crop them. <laughs> so buying sweaters is not something I do like new ones or expensive ones. So I did buy this one and I love it. So I might buy some more eventually one day, but for now I have a lot of sweaters so this is like my go-to Gymshark one and I wish I had it in more colors. Okay I had to just go grab a couple more bras because I realized I was missing a couple. Um, I did actually do a TikTok of like tell me you have a Gymshark bra obsession without telling me. I have got rid of one I think since then. So I had one it was like this blue like crisscross one where like tucked under the other one and then like the back was like an elastic band and then like the shoulder straps. So it did not fit me nicely and then every time I'd move like one boob would want to pop out so I had I just got rid of that one because obviously it wasn't very practical and not very flattering on myself um but if you want to watch my TikTok it is on there it's on my reels on Instagram too but I have a problem with this one style of bra so I'm gonna go through um all the colors I have and I now have a new obsession too so there's possibility that I'll be ordering a lot more of this other one um, but I have four of these right now. So if you don't know, this is like the scrunch one. I have it in the green. I have it in the white. I have it in the pink. And then I have it in the black, obviously. Um, again, somebody needs to take my credit card away because it gets a little out of hand. I found those. They make your boobs look really good. They're like solid enough that like the black one I literally wore on my run this morning. No, like the, the, you don't feel like you're moving around. Nothing's going to fall out. And they're so comfy. And they have adjustable straps, which is perfect. Um, if you're wondering, I think all of my bras, I'm pretty sure they're a size small. And I have like 34 C's. So maybe that'll help you a little bit. Um, I find them to be perfect size and the size small. They're really comfy. And 
they're just like buttery soft fabric so that's why I have four and then I have like some old ones um that'll kind of go through here and then I'll explain my first or my newest obsession uh, but I have this old school like cottony fabric one so it's not like a legit sports bra feeling um it's like super high waisted it almost just feels like a supportive crop top if that makes sense so like I'll just wear it like without a bra under but it's really comfy still um and then I also have this one it's like all the straps are undone from washing it but I'm just gonna show you it's so that's what it looks like it's like the bandeau or not the bandeau um the it's like the lounge stuff not like a legit like running sports bra it's kind of in like where the underwear would be but it's super soft super comfy and I'll wear it to the gym anyways and then this was my initial like start to the Gymshark bra obsession um, but I bought this in an extra small so it's very tight um but this was my starting point and then this is what, how I ended up with all the scrunch ones because I bought this one I loved it and then they I didn't don't think they had my size in any other color when I went to go order them so I ordered a scrunch one and then I became obsessed with that and hence why I wore them but that one's cute and then I also have this one it's like the crop top like crisscross back cool pattern one it's got the gym shark I love this one um it I need to take the little pads out because they're always like and not cute but so cute so comfy and it's just like a funky because it feels like you're wearing like a crop tank top or tape pit tank top rather than like a bra so love that one but this bra is now my worst enemy because I want to buy it in every single color but thankfully they're always sold out so I can't do that but I'm sure one day I will have them all I'm not gonna lie but this is my last thing in my collection right now um I try to like sell things as I go through and not wear them as much so I don't have a massive collection because if you can see my floor right now I literally have like you know people they make like blanket bins with like the metal like baskets I have two of those on my floor full of leggings so we don't need more but we're gonna get more just keep that on the down low but this bra this is like their their bando like they're one of their really new ones I have it in black it was the only one that came in my size but it's got like the little back piece like that the front looks like that it's buttery buttery soft and oh like it just it just fits so right like it's so soft it sits perfectly over the boobs you get a little bit of cleavage but like you don't feel like you're gonna fall out the straps are so soft so they don't like cut in and leave little red marks and I give it every single color so thank you for taking my money Gymshark um but that is literally my newest obsession so like that bra with all of my new pants all my new shorts if you see me at the gym that's what I wear every day you can vouch for that one too um but yeah that's my entire collection so far right now um I'll hopefully be able to kind of leave everything um I'll hopefully be able to leave everything on screen if I did obviously you would have seen it but if I can I'll leave things like below too on what you can go and try to get but think that covers it all so if I add more into my collection over the next little while I'll do another video if you like these types of videos give it a thumbs up leave comments below for video suggestions or anything you want to see or any collections you want to see like brand wise um, I have a couple ideas that hopefully I'll be able to get some time to film them over the next little while too um, but I should probably go work on one of my projects right now and then hopefully I'll have time to edit this video over the next couple days to get it up for maybe Friday hopefully um, but we'll see but yeah that's all I have to say um I think that just covers it all so see y'all in the next video and hope you have the best freaking day